Good morning, boys and girls, and God bless you. Good morning, Jacob, and God bless you. The best shelter I have designed is the is the education bus shelter. I chose this. I chose this topic because some bus shelters are not that strong. I want. I wanted to design a strong, sturdy, and stable bus shelter. It is made of triangles and cylinders, mostly. These shapes will, will help make the bus shelter one of the strongest buildings in the world. Why did I choose triangles and cylinders for the bus shelter, you ask? Well, I didn't even, I didn't want it to fall over in, in a big storm or something like that. Well, I also want a large metal roof made of triangles that will make it strong, just like the walls. Who will this help and why, you ask as well? It will help the school children, their parents, and even the school staff. It will, it will help them be safe from all sorts of weather for a very long time, as it is very strong. What I have learnt, I have learnt that you can use triangles or cylinders to build a strong structure. You can add, you can add some steel triangles called a truss at the back of a square to make it stronger. Aluminium and plastic can be used to make a flexible but strong structure. And finally, triangles are the strongest shape in the world. Cylinders are second. Did you know that most bus shelters don't have lights? Did you know that some bus shelters have fences? Did you know that some bus shelters have curved roofs? Did you know that some bus shelters have about four shelters all grouped into one big shelter? Name of idea educational bus shelter. Describe idea. I am going to add a chalkboard for the school kids to draw on and to entertain them. I am also going to add a bench to prevent sore legs and for the kids to relax on. A map on, of the world will be added to the wall so kids could not really have been to. There will be three bubblers added to the wall on the left, so kids can get water if they have no water left. Obviously, I didn't, I didn't do those two. I didn't do those two because it would have been too big. My real life materials, concrete. I used this for the floors of the bus shelter so that it's strong. Metal roof. It protects the people inside from the rain, heat, and the wind. It also protects them from hail because the roof is hail resistant. Cold. It helps the roof stay up. Model materials. Egg carton. This material will form the roof. I picked this because it looks like a roof and it is shaped like a roof. And finally, paddle pop sticks. This, will, this material will form the top of the bench as three put together will provide a space to sit down just like a bench. This is my sketch of my bus shelter.
This is my digital design. It's going to be well, this was this was before we decided what the best shelter will look like. This is my best shelter now. Mm -hmm. Right up here. There are the seats here. There's the left post here. The right post there. And right in the middle is the chalkboard. Mm -hmm. Describe my idea. Describe the bus ship. The seats. The seats are curved, making it perfect for walking up as possible. The chalkboard. The chalkboard can be moved and it's curved because it's actually paper with chalkboard paint. And finally, the the roof can be removed over with the wall down to the ground automatically to move to the wall. What worked well, what was hard and what I liked about the model. What worked well? The roof turned out better than it should have been. The seats looked so futuristic and the chalkboard was perfect. What was hard? Putting the two, two, painting the two posts was really hard and I struggled to paint doing the back. What I liked, I liked doing all of the designing and building. Thank you Jacob, let's give him a clap. Now I'm going to ask Jacob some questions because I want to look at his design even more closely. So do you want to go over to your design Jacob? Thank you, and I'm going to zoom in on it because it is so clever. And I can see that over the time your design changed a little bit. And that was because you wa wanted to use some materials that were a bit easier, do you think? Yes. Yeah, and you used an egg carton instead of paddle pop sticks as your seat. Do you like the egg cartons better? Tell me why. I do. Yeah. Because, well, it provides space to sit down and also you can relax. Was the material easier to use and work with? Not really but it was easier to use and it took less time to install it. Excellent, let's give him a clap. And also, 